today I thought I'd uh, quick show you what I've been up to. Now, it's a bit hard to see in there, but last week I picked up some fish from a friend of mine who had three trout left over from, from winter. Her tank is uh, 4,000 litres, so it heats up and then holds the heat for days. I've got a small tank, a 1,000 litre tank, and um, it does get hot, but it cools very quickly overnight, being a small tank. So I've added in three trout, along with five other extra silver perch, into my tank. So today, as you can see, is a nice trout it's just sitting right there. I've added in, and there's this nice silver underneath. So I've got trout running with my silver perch. Now, this is normally not done, because apparently the trout will harass the silver perch. But I'm figuring that my silvers are quite big. And the um, three trout will be outnumbered. Even though one of them is not a bad sized trout. You could probably eat him now if you wanted to. So we had a, we had a 43 degree day here. And um, there's one of my silvers. And another trout. And the tank got to 23 degrees, so it's um, 24 degrees, sorry. So the trout seems to be holding up okay. But if they get too stressed, then um, I'll certainly, certainly deal with them. He's got a little bit of, uh, just noticing a little bit of damage to his tail, so we'll see how he goes. Now I don't know whether he got that here or he got that from the other place. So I'll keep you updated, see how it goes. Um, next next winter I want to try and put some uh, some trout fingerlings in and see if I can grow them out over, over winter along with the silvers. In the next few weeks I'm going to take a couple of silvers out for, uh, for dinner and I'll make sure I take some videos and photos to show you those. So There's a quick update and I'll keep you informed on how, on how it all goes.